Hi, thank you for joining my virtual poster presentation. My name is Sepp de Winter. I'm a PhD student from Belgium in the laboratory of Stan Arts at the University of KU Leuven. We will cover two topics in this poster. The first topic is Scenic Plus. Scenic Plus is a computational pipeline for the inference of enhancer-driven gene regulatory networks from single-cell multiomics data. The second topic covers the gene regulatory mechanisms underlying early human neuronal development. This we study using organoids. Scenic Plus consists out of three main steps. First, Scenic Plus identifies enhancer candidates by analyzing single-cell ATAC sequencing data using PISIS topic. Second, the sequence of these candidate enhancers is scanned for the presence of transcription factor motifs. For this, we use motive enrichment analysis and a database with more than 30,000 position weight matrices. Finally, this information is combined with gene expression data to link transcription factors to regions and regions to target genes. We benchmarked the predictions made by Scenic Plus using publicly available data from ENCODE. Scenic Plus is able to prioritize target regions of transcription factors with high chipset signal. These target regions are highly cell type specific and are therefore good enhancer candidates. Compared to other methods like Pando, Figar, Rani and Cell Oracle, the networks inferred by Scenic Plus are better able to separate cell states, are more enriched for relevant transcription factors, and have a higher precision and recall for the prediction of target regions based on ChIP-seq and target genes based on transcription factor perturbation studies. The predictions of Scenic Plus can be used to simulate perturbations. To illustrate this, we analyzed melanoma cell lines. Melanoma cell lines reside into three main states. This is the melanocytic state, the mesenchymal state, and the intermediate state. Note that the first principal component represents the melanocytic to mesenchymal axis. Scenic Plus was able to identify the main regulators of the melanocytic state, the mesenchymal state, and the intermediate state. Next, after simulating a knockdown of SOX10, which is a regulator of the melanocytic state, Scenic Plus predicted that cells of the intermediate state would become more mesenchymal. We observed an opposite phenotype switch after simulating a knockdown of SEP1. In fact, these knockout simulations can be done for all identified transcription factors. And by measuring how much the cells will move along the melanocytic to mesenchymal axis, we can prioritize transcription factor knockouts for inducing a phenotype switch in either direction. Finally, we make use of the delay between transcription factor expression and expression of their target genes to infer the effect of a transcription factor in a differentiation trajectory. This methodology we call EGRAN velocity. As an illustration, we show EGRAN velocity of oligodendrocyte differentiation. For the transcription factor OLIC2, we observe arrows starting in the oligodendrocyte precursor state and these arrows point towards the same state. This means that both OLIC2 and its target genes are expressed in this state. For SOX10, however, we observe arrows starting in the oligodendrocyte precursor state and these arrows they point towards the oligodendrocytes. This means that SOX10 is expressed in the precursor state while its target genes are expressed later on in the differentiation trajectory. From this we can hypothesize that OLIC2 will maintain the precursor state while SOX10 will drive differentiation away from this state. In this first topic I covered Scenic Plus. In the next topic I will talk about how we study the genomic code of early human neuronal development using organoids. We generated human neural tube organoids from single induced pluripotent stem cells in 11 days. To study the gene regulatory changes that occur over these days, we applied single cell multiomics at multiple time points of differentiation. The organoids generated neuronal progenitors, early neurons and multiple neurocrest clusters. For the neuronal progenitors, the organoids were able to recapitulate the dorsoventral patterning that is also observed in vertebrate animals. The neurons form a branching differentiation trajectory into somatostatin positive, GATA2 positive and GATA1 positive neurons. Finally, the neurocrest clusters represent the pre-migratory, the migratory, mesenchymal and peripheral neuron states. 
To decipher the genomic code underlying dorsal ventral patterning, we made use of deep learning. For this, we trained a convolutional neural network to predict in which cell type a genomic region is accessible using its DNA sequence as input. Once the model is trained, we can use explainable AI techniques to extract features from the sequence that are important for a correct prediction. These features often correspond to transcription factor binding sites. Applying this model to neuronal progenitors, we were able to extract transcription factor binding sites important for different dorsoventral states. The importance of these transcription factor binding sites correlate with the expression of transcription factors binding these sites. This is represented by the dot sizes and colors. From ventral to dorsal, we find binding sites for RVX4, FOXA2, NKX2.2, PAX6, ZIG1, TCF7L1, SOX10, and TFAP2A. Thank you for visiting my virtual poster. If you have further questions, please contact me or come and see me at the conference. Bye bye.